Hello everyone, my name is Krepler, and to start today off, I just wanted to thank you all for subscribing. I've reached 101 subscribers, which is more than I ever expected. So, if you could, please click that subscription button, look at this hypnotizing image, it is telling you to subscribe. Anyway, today I'm going to be playing Space Flight Simulator for the second time and trying to get a crewed rocket into orbit. So, I hope you enjoy. Now, introducing the all-new Atlas 6. Powered by one large solid roof rocket booster with two small uh, engines for steering on the first stage. Second stage with two of those same small engines. And then the third stage with one of those same small engines. This will put a crew of one into Earth orbit. Then a booster pack stage will return them back to Earth. Along for the ride is this little, uh, escape tower thing. Um, I've run out of things to say now. Uh, oh, also, it's got cool treads on the bottom. But it's too heavy to move fast. So, let's just launch. We now have liftoff. That single, um single uh, solid rocket booster in the middle providing most of the thrust with steering control provided by the small liquid fuel um, engines on the side. Let's keep our little spaceship with its little thing there and as long as we are not gaining speed so let's What's happening? Hello? No liquid fuel source, but that's a fuel tank. <laughs> okay. So, this is where we start panicking. And this is where this thing comes in handy. Let's go. Okay. That did not come in handy. There's parachute deployment. I'm going to name the guy in the capsule. His name is going to be Roger. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, Roger, have you made a safe landing? <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. Roger that. No, 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 we weren't talking to you. We are just saying Roger that. Oh, you get that a lot? Yeah, I can see why. Okay, we're sending a recover crew out now. <laughs> yeah, Roger. He's he's nice. He's a good Stellanaut. I'm going to actually start calling him Stellanauts now. So, uh, he didn't even go past the atmosphere. Great. Okay, so maybe I was exaggerating a little bit on the amount of stuff we're going to have to rethink. I just had to take a fuel tank off, and hopefully this works. We're jumping straight into trying human flights. Uh, we've loaded geriatrics into the capsule now, and he's going to hopefully not be the first person in space. Because, let's be honest, I don't want the first person in space in this world to be a guy named geriatrics. All right, that's enough insulting some random guy on the internet. Uh, let's have lift off. Woo, lift off. <sighs> I've done this so many times now. I know I don't have RCS. Let's pitch over a little bit. I love the fact that the little image in the pitch follower is a space plane. You can't really make planes in this game. So... It's a little thing. I've managed to now become an expert at flying this one rocket fairly well. 
uh, except the occasional time when I completely mess it up and accidentally blow up the entire rocket. Okay, let's look to make sure. Alright, our orbit seems to be growing at a nice and steady rate. And hopefully, by this time, we can get Jerry here up into orbit. Alright, now we simply have to circularize our orbit. We will be in space. I can hear the music start playing. You guys can't hear the music, sadly. So let's coast our way over to here, where we're going to ignite our engine and put us circularized around the Earth. Get rid of that thing. And now. Uh, debris, everyone. I officially announce Jerry Atrix, the first Stellanaut. He is in this capsule totally. Look, I'm going to zoom in there and see his little face in the capsule waving at us. Jerry Atrix. How does it feel, Jerry, to be the first human to ever travel into space and into orbit? Now, Jerry, Jerry Atrix, God bless you, and may you orbit around us for, like, five days or something. Okay, who wants to go get lunch? We're just going to leave him in order now. I'll see you guys later. I'll see you all in the next episode. I've officially put Jerry in orbit. And he is not coming out anytime soon.